Good afternoon, good afternoon. Let me refresh my laptop here and make sure that I am live. And we are live, very good. Forgot to mute my laptop. So good afternoon, uh, Carol Buckaloo. Inky B Stampers. I am an independent Stampin' Up demonstrator. And let me see here if straighten my camera just. I always go the wrong direction. Let me try that again. Whoop. Let me see here. Okay, a little bit better. Well, maybe better. <laughs> So anyway, good afternoon. Hey, Mary, thank you for joining. Appreciate it. Um, so today I have a double Z fold uh, Christmas card uh, for you. Um, hey, mom, thanks for joining. And, um, you know, yeah, I'm making another Christmas card. But you know what? You can't have too many Christmas cards. Pretty Christmas cards, right? Um, so this card... Um, was made using the Brightest Glow stamp set, and which is awesome for, uh, you know, holiday sentiments. It, this is a fantastic stamp set. And I used the Twinkling Lights dies, uh, and in particular, this large snowflake. Uh, and the snowflake was cut actually from both, there's two dies, the smaller one fits inside the larger one. And I use the Lights of Glow 6x6 Specialty Designer Paper. Hey, Akiko, thank you so much for joining. Uh, and, and my pack of um, Lights of Glow paper is well-loved, I can tell you that. Um, okay, so let's get started. So this card is kind of made up from two card bases, a larger one and a smaller one. And the large one measures 11 by 4 and a quarter and the smaller one is 10 and a half by three and a quarter. Um, and they fit together um, kind of like that. So um, we'll go ahead and get started. And there is a lot of layering on this card. Um, this card is double matted. So I will tell you that uh, it's going to cost extra postage, most definitely. You could probably cut down, maybe on one of the mats, but I think it looks so pretty with the double mats. Um, you know what? Before we start layering up, let me get some stamping done. Um, I have a piece of um, very vanilla cardstock, and I just need to make sure I've got this oriented right before I stamp it. I do. And... Um, our sentiment label is going to go on a very narrow half inch piece of very vanilla cardstock for the front of the card. Uh, so let me get my ink out here. I am using cherry cobbler ink. Hey, if you guys can't hear me, I forgot to adjust the sound on my cell phone. So hopefully you can hear me okay. If you can't, let me know and I'll try to adjust it. Um... So let's stamp our sentiment label here for the front of our card. And I'm just kind of lining this up. Uh, and this is such a narrow piece of cardstock. Hopefully I get it on the first try. We'll see how I do. Let me see here. I cut a couple of extra spares just in case. Thanks for the thumbs up, Mary. Okay. We'll take that, yay. <laughs> I like when when I can stamp those labels um, the first go around. The, the, um, the rubber stamps, you know, depending on how well and how straight you put your label on, um, depends on, on how straight you stamp it. I, what I do is I lay my block down I either use a ruler and measure from the bottom line of text to the edge of the stamp block to make sure that I've got it on straight, or I will lay my block down uh, on my grid paper and then just kind of eyeball that line of text 
uh, and line it up with one of the grid lines. And so that's that's kind of a helpful tip. Um, little things that you learn as you go, right, from, from having to redo stamping. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, stamp our inside sentiment. And this sentiment is getting stamped right smack in the middle. And this one actually should be pretty straight. Which means I did a good job putting a sticker on the stamp. Okay, that looks pretty good. We'll keep that. Just set this aside here for a minute. And we can close the ink up because that is pretty much all the stamping that is involved with this card. Um, we can go ahead and start layering up our panels here. Uh, quite a bit of gluing involved. Um, but I should have all the pieces laid out here. So hopefully this, whoops. Hopefully this won't take too terribly long. So I hope everybody's having a good day. Um, so here in Delaware, we've had two days of fog, um, but we live very close to the Delaware River. Uh, the, the river's quite, quite wide where we live, and uh, we're only about three blocks from the river. And so when there are uh, ships on the river um, and, it's, and there's fog present, it, it, somehow the ship's navigation equipment talks to the buoys and the fog horns go off. Uh, so all morning long, yesterday and today, listening to fog horns and they're, they're actually kind of, kind of cool sounding. All right, that's one piece. Yeah, so it's been kind of foggy and overcast. I, I didn't see blue sky yesterday until around, I don't know, right before it got dark. So hopefully we'll see some sunshine here soon. And I'm hoping we don't get any severe weather. It, it's rather, it's warm here for this time of year. And I, we are, it's presently like 64 degrees here. Um, it's very mild out. My roses are still blooming. I can't believe it. Yeah, Mary, I agree. I, I don't mind the fog. It's, it's kind of pretty sometimes and, and the, hearing the fog horns, but I don't like driving in it. For sure. I can remember years back, we had about two weeks of extremely heavy fog. I mean, it was so eerie. And we had like a couple of weeks of it. That was years ago. And, you know, it was probably about this time of year where, you know, the atmosphere is a bit colder and, you know, the, the warm air comes in or whatever. Whatever causes that. Um, all right, so these are the panels for our card, our larger card base. And I'll go ahead and get these glued up. But pretty much, um, this card consists of, you know, just um, a lot of panels. Um, but it does make for a pretty card. And this is a great fun fold. Um, to show off really pretty DSP. And this um, this Light to Glow DSP is just, I love it. It's just so pretty. I've kind of used all my sparkly pieces, not all of them, but a lot of them. So I may have to, I may have to bite the bullet and order another pack just so I can have more sparkle. I love sparkle on Christmas cards. Okay. So this larger panel, or this larger base, rather, um, gets a panel on, on every section of the card. And I will have the measurements um, for this uh, card um, on my blog. Actually, they're already there. Uh, and I'll go back later today and, and I'll link the video up as well um, to my blog post. But if you visit my site, um, you'll be able to grab a PDF tutorial. So that is the large card base. And let's go ahead and get the smaller base put together here. Let me see here. So I did, I did have some of this uh, ivory, or very vanilla rather, um, 
sparkly paper left. And I am adding this piece of Very Vanilla onto Very Vanilla cardstock. I need to scooch it up there just a smidge. There we go. And I just noticed I've got my card base. I need to make sure I have my card base. That would be disastrous, wouldn't it, if I like looted up wrong? So make sure. <laughs> I need to make sure that my card is oriented correct. I, I had it backwards, so I'm glad I looked. That would have been a disaster. Nah, I would just recut pieces, but uh, I'd rather not have to do that if I don't have to. All right. And we've just got a couple more little uh, panels here. But look how pretty the Very Vanilla is against that Cherry Cobbler cardstock. I'm really really beautiful so i have a a blank piece of uh, very vanilla that will go in the center here and this will be for writing a, a personal sentiment for signing the card and get this glued up put our sentiment that we stamped down next. So we are getting close to the end of October, which means that our starter kit plus joining special is going to be ending at the end of October. Um, so if you're not familiar with that promotion, I do have details on my blog that you can check out. Uh, but basically, you, normally the starter kit is $99 and you get $125 worth of product. However, right now, uh, Stampin' Up! is offering $155 um, in the starter kit worth of products for $99. And so that's a fantastic, fantastic joining deal. Uh, so if you're contemplating joining Stampin' Up! would love to have you join my team uh, and check out, you know, check out the... Um, the, the joining special right now. All right, so this is how, you know, our card is going to go together. And I think what is easiest is, uh, I am going to go ahead and flip my panel over. I'm going to grab a pencil here. Maybe I'll grab my white, white gel pen. Be easier to see. And I am just going to basically make sure that this panel is lined up top to bottom and left to right as best I can. And I'm just going to open that panel up and I'm just going to make a little tick mark. Um, and that's going to help me know where to put my glue um, when we go to, head, uh, to ad adhere these two. Um, see, I'm getting myself turned around. Whoops. I don't want to smear that, that white uh, gel pen if it's wet. All right, let's try this again. It can be a little tricky adhering these panels together. That's why I kind of like to, um, I kind of like to, you know, give myself a little guideline. And I'm just trying to make sure that that is we do have a little bit of wiggle room with that glue, and it looks like we are pretty well centered. And I'm just going to give that a good press down. I was making my card last week, and I had a panel shift on me like I <laughs> thought it was set, and it wasn't set, and it moved on me. All right, that should be pretty good. And then I'm going to go ahead and open up the large card base, and we can go ahead and apply glue on this back panel, on the entire panel, the smaller panel of the smaller card base. And I'm just going to go ahead and kind of hold that down and close my card and give that a good press and let that glue set up here. 
Hey, Karen. Thanks so much for joining. Oh, I'm glad you like the card. Thank you. I, I like these double Z folds. I just, I like them because they really show off. You get to use a lot of DSP, pretty DSP. All right, so now our card is adhered together. We've got our inside panel for a sentiment and our inside greeting. We ne now need to decorate our front. And I have gone ahead and I've already die cut um, this snowflake uh, in gold foil um, paper. And I don't know if you can see the shine on that, but it is just so pretty. Uh, and against this, you know, cherry cobbler and very vanilla, uh, it's just extra pretty. I'm going to go ahead and just pop this up with some Stampin' Dimensionals. Let me grab those. And I already cut some kind of tiny, I mean tiny pieces. I think we can use a bigger one here. Probably for the middle if I'm careful. That looks pretty good. Um, and then I'm just grab some pieces here. See, I'm not quite sure. I'm going to put some. Let me see here. Probably hard for you guys to see what I'm doing since this is a white background. But I'm trying to fit these Stampin' Dimensionals in where they won't interfere with... Um, let me grab some here where they won't interfere with the little cutouts the little light cutouts on the snowflake I just love this snowflake this is really pretty I was kind of experimenting with this snowflake and um, I, I you know die cut one and I brush I brushed some um, balmy blue ink over the snowflake and uh, I, you know what? I think they would make beautiful Christmas tree ornaments, these snowflakes. Uh, you know, maybe get some thin thread or something. Um, but I think they'd make really pretty tree ornaments. And maybe you could like brush different colors over them or something. So you can see I'm just putting the tiniest pieces of uh, Stampin' Dimensionals on our snowflake, which means I'll have a million covers to take off. But um, you know, it, I just want to make sure that the snowflake is supported, um, because, you know, if you're going to be mailing this, you want, you want it to be able to survive, right? Let me just grab my snips here and cut a few more of these down. I think if I cut some of these in half, that'll, that'll work. And let me grab those. Just two more little points here. cover wants to come off and that one's hanging over let me try that again so this is probably the fussiest thing about this card is trying to put your stampin dimensionals now i've got one stuck to me uh putting your stampin dimensionals on these little um points there we go okay i think we're good now let me get all these uh covers peeled off as quickly as I can, which there's nothing quick about taking stampin' dimensional covers off. You're right, Akiko. It's yeah, it's definitely worth um, you know, supporting these these delicate die cuts. Um, because I don't know about you, but I know when I receive my paper pumpkin kit in the mail each month, I I hold my breath because um, a few times. My kit has arrived uh, worse for the wear. So you could just imagine, you know, I can't tell what um, what covers I've taken off and what I haven't. Okay, one more, I think. One more tiny little one. There we go. All right, there we go. All right. So we are going to just go ahead and center this on our card front. And I'm just lining up the top point and the bottom point uh, with kind of the edge of my card there. And um, go ahead and get that stuck down. Now, on my original card, I did a Z with the ribbon. Um, and I like it. But it kind of added, you know, the, the gold foil is already kind of thicker. 
Um, so it added a bit of thickness under that snowflake. So I thought this time, I went ahead and I just tied a simple bow. And I think maybe uh, you guys can help me to des decide where to place that bow. But I think I'm going to go with the bow this time. Um, we need to go ahead and layer up our, um, our little skinny sentiment label here. And I'm just uh, matting this to a piece of coordinating um, DSP from the Lights of Glow. And it is cut uh, larger, obviously. Let's see if I can get that centered up. But see how I got that wiggle room with that glue? Isn't that a wonderful thing? I, uh, I don't mind using stamp and seal, but I do love my glue. Go ahead, Mary, type it in. Team, team glue, right? We've got team half dimensionals and team glue. I'm going to, actually let me rethink this. So on my original card, my label was positioned over the bottom portion of the snowflake. But since I kind of changed up, um, so we could put the bell, we could put the bell up here, which I kind of like. We could put it at the top of the snowflake and trim the ribbon down a bit. That might be pretty as well. Or we could put the bow maybe on an angle down here and trim those ends up a bit. Anybody have any, uh, yep, Team Liquid Glue. Anybody have any preferences on where, where to put the bow? Any votes on that? Hey, Amy, thanks so much for joining. I didn't see your comment there. Okay, I'm not seeing any input on the bow. I'm kind of liking it. I don't know, maybe trim the ends and we'll put it at the top here. Okay, I see it down there on the sentiment. Okay, two votes for the sentiment. And we'll kind of angle it out like that. Okay, let's do that. All right, I'm going to grab my dimensionals again, and I'm only putting dimensionals on the ends, on either end of our label, and I might be able to fit, I think I can fit two. Uh, no, I can only fit one. Okay, so I've got a dimensional on each end of this label. I'm going to go ahead and put, um, you like all the options, Akiko. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. I don't know, I, I think it's pretty anywhere. And this is the satin, the, the very vanilla and gold um, satin edged ribbon. It is so pretty. So I'm just putting some glue uh, in the center um, because that's where that label is going to make contact um, with the snowflake. And so I'm going to just go ahead and drop that and try to get it straight. Whoa, and it moved. Did I? I forgot to take the... Well, it helps if you take the dimension colors off, Carol. Good grief. Sakes alive. All right, let's try this again. Now it's going to grab. All right. And just trying to make sure that that is straight. And we should be good. Yep, yeah, looks straight to me. Okay, very good. Well, let me grab some mini glue dots. Put my glue cap back on. Ugh, dimensional covers everywhere. All right, let me just grab a glue dot. Whoops. Got the dropsies today. All right, and let me just. I think maybe right about there. And um, I do have ribbon scissors, so let me grab those. And I'll just give this a little trim. I don't want 
and cover the sentiment. Here we go. I think that looks pretty. Yeah. All right. Um, so if you've not checked out the Fitting Florets um, collection that Stampin' Up! Um, will be releasing to for customer orders on November 1st, you need to check it out. I've shown that collection, I think, in last week's video. Um, but these are the gold adhesive back swirls uh, from that collection. So you will be able to order these November 1st. Demonstrators can order them now. Um, but this little gold swirl goes perfectly with this gold snowflake. So I'm, let me see here, grab my tweezers. And I'm going to add just one of these gems to the center of the snowflake. If I can get them out of the package. There we go. Oh, thank you, Akiko. Appreciate it. Um, but I thought I thought the little gold swirl looked real pretty in the center of the snowflake. Let me just scooch it up there a little bit, get it centered. All right, there we go. It adds. I don't even know if you guys can see it, but it it adds just a little something extra um, to the snowflake. Thought it was pretty. And that is the card. Let's go ahead. I did not stamp anything on the front of the envelope. Um, I thought it was pretty just as is, but I am gonna go ahead and add a piece of coordinating, um, a coordinating piece of the light to glow uh, paper to the flap of the envelope. Yeah, I love the gold swirls too, Mary. They are just so, so pretty. Well, that whole Fitting Florets uh, collection is just gorgeous. Stampin' Up! definitely gave us something to fun to play with at the end of the year, for sure. All right, let me make sure that I've got that one straight, and that looks good. Just give it a nice press. Ruth, thanks so much for joining. Oh, thank you. Appreciate it. All right. Go ahead and trim this up, and we will be done. Uh-oh. Doggies heard something. They're not barking now. I've really lucked out. I'm going to jinx myself if I say anything, but they've been really quite good. And I have to tell you, it is hard to see this paper against the envelope flap. I'm having a hard time seeing where I'm going. It's about the same color. And let's get around this corner. And there we go. So that is... Uh, our card for today, a double Z fold. Uh, and this is just such a fun card again to show off that pretty paper. Um, oh, thank you. Thank you, Karen, appreciate it. And so we now have two pretty Christmas cards, yay. Uh, I wanna thank you all so much for joining me today. Uh, have a wonderful rest of the day and I will talk to you all next week. Have a good one, bye-bye.